Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today we are giving you gameplay coverage of Fort, a brand new game from one of my favorite publishers of all time, Leader Games, uh, which you're already aware of, because let's be honest, the odds are you found our channel through something along the lines of root coverage, oath coverage, vast coverage, and, and now, of course, Fort coverage as well. This is a fascinating little deck builder and... Mike, you pointed out hand management game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we just got done playing our first kind of solid round through it, at least with, with you two. Yep. Uh, I have played prototypes and TTS and everything like that, so this is, this is one that I've experienced a few times, which means I should be primed to win. Now... It's your time. Well, <laughs> let's be honest. It's our time. <laughs> because we've played a few games. Uh, by the way, this is Sean. He's uh, one of my Kentucky friends who's now joining us for coverage on the channel, because I'm slowly, I'm slowly finding people in Kentucky to play with. This is Mike. I already kind of introduced him. We don't do formal introductions, because you just should know them. They're much more important than I am, and slightly more handsome. <laughs> uh, either way, I've probably rambled enough. Will you go ahead and do what Quackaloop is known for, which is read the flavor text. There's a lot of pressure for this. Trust me, about... 7% of our audience tunes in solely for the flavor text read, so really lean into it here. <clears throat> there we go. You're a kid, and like many kids, you want to grow your circle of friends. Grab a bunch of pizza and toys and build the best fort. Naturally, by doing this cool stuff, you'll score victory points, and at the end of the game, the player with the most victory points is the winner. Fort is a deck building game with a twist. Your cards not only let you take actions on your own turn, but also let you follow the other players' actions on their turns. Will you devote yourself to your own posse or copy what the other kids are doing? Keep an eye out though, if you don't actually use all the cards in your hand, the other players will get a chance to nab them. After all, if you don't play with your friends, why should they hang out with you anymore? Yeah, that's a fair, that's a fair point, and now I'm concerned I'm gonna lose both of you. <laughs> uh, all that being said, we're going to go ahead and play the game. I'm not going to do a full teacher how to play on this. In fact, we have a full review here on the, on the channel already uh, that we released about a week ago, diving into the specifics of what I find interesting about this game and if this game is going to be right for you or wrong for you. Uh, for now, let me go ahead and set up what we're doing here, the objective of the game, uh, and what people are seeing, and then we'll just swing into the gameplay. Sounds good. So the object of this game is to be about as efficient as possible with your hand management or with the cards that you're playing to score as many victory points as you can. Uh, the game is going to end in one of three different ways. Either we make it to fort level five, one of us, someone crosses the 25 mark on the victory track, which can happen through playing cards out of your hand, or the park deck here completely runs out of cards. So those will be the ways that the end game triggers. Throughout the play of the game, we're gonna be following our turn summary on our board here. The most interesting thing about this deck builder, this hand management game, is that your marketplace is going to also be other players' hands. So as I'm playing, I'll start my turn by playing a card. I'll resolve the top action, which is a public action that anyone can take, the bottom action, which is a private action that only I can utilize, uh, using extra cards to buff those actions, get extra resources, and potentially score more victory points. Then I will recruit from somewhere here on the board and I will add whatever is left in my hand to what is called my yard. Meaning, anyone for the rest of this turn cycle, before, until it comes back to my turn, could take these cards from me. Now I've just given you all a spoiler of what I have in my hand, and there was a card in there that was pretty nice. Yeah, so I'm like just that. never gonna make that available. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that I've now shown that to you. You're not first player. No, <laughs> he is first player. Still, I'm just... <laughs> Just throwing that out there, that probably was not good for me to show off. Uh, but that's that's the general that's the general core of the game. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. The most complicated part of this game is going to be the mathematics that go into the iconography at the top. But I, I'd have to say Leader Games recognized that because they printed uh, rules and reference cards that are the size of the box so that everyone not only has one on hand, but they're easy to reference, they're easy to see. Um, and once we got up and running, we were able to work our way through those uh, through those iconography Agreed. a lot easier. Uh, anything else I missed? Anything you want to add? Other uh, than you're going to win the game? Let's hope so. 
Let's hope so. Well, it didn't happen the first time we played, but this I is, believe in you. This is very true. I believe in you this time. Uh, your first player, I believe. All right. Well, I'm going to start with Tink. Okay. And, and part of playing the game is you need resources to upgrade your fort, make your fort stronger. Pizza and toys. Pizza and toys. So it is, I get one toy for every glue card. Okay, and that is going to be your top public action, which means we could play a glue card in order to follow that action. And I am going it. to choose to follow, so I will also gain a toy. Yep. Uh, I am absolutely going to do the same, so I am also going to gain a toy as well. Now, you could, if you had more glue cards in your hand, play additional cards to modify that action. Correct. Okay. Sadly, I don't have any. <laughs> and then your uh, your bottom action there. Oh, yes, and that's uh, lets me convert. Toys oh. to pizza for every glue. Which that doesn't, good. unless you want to get a pizza now, that doesn't no, doesn't gonna... really benefit you. And then I have to make the rest of my hand. First you recruit. And you're oh, that's right. And we you're need gonna to recruit one card. We need to recruit first. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take Icky and Sticky Ooh. there. Solid pick. Was a bad mistake last time we played. You gave it up last time you yeah, played. Yeah, I couldn't. Well, I didn't have anything to do. Around. You weren't a, you weren't a very good friend, if I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> no, I wasn't horrible. So I, there's the yard available for everyone. So we we could now take any of his cards from his deck that he didn't pay attention to if we decided that we could be better friends. Exactly. Which, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not I'm not saying there's not some in there I want. Let's see. That was a tough call. Alright. I'm gonna play Patch, who is a blue card. If you wanna follow, you will be able to get a toy for a book if you have it. Yeah, I'm following you with a wild. I will do the same. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the private action isn't gonna help me out at this time because it would require some glue. I don't have anything sitting in my lookout yet. Yep. And I didn't play any cards that have multiple suits to follow with. Yep. So I'll at least get one toy though. And then I'm gonna recruit. This captain guy here. Oh, that's your best friend. Yeah. So some of the cards have stars on the bottom of them next to the names. Those are your best friends. They're not going to leave your side. They don't go into your yard. Instead, they're always going to come home with you. Correct. All right. So there's my yard. All right. What do I want to do? So one of these cards, I've got a little bit of math here. Recruit a card plus gain a blue for every... All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm playing babyface here. Math up here, you always do parentheses first and they have to be, you have to be able to do them and then it goes to the multiplier. So in the parentheses, I'm going to recruit a card, then I'm going to gain a toy, uh, add a toy to my stuff for every squirt gun that I have. I'm adding the scrappers here to modify that. So I get to recruit, I get to recruit three cards, but I can and then I get to add two toys. Because you would fully resolve the bottom one first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so you get so two no. toys, three cards, mm. one. Oh, I see where you're going. Uh, two. Two. <laughs> oh, and I didn't see Rocket Bros there. I'm. I almost hit him underneath the other you, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are all coming over to me. Then I could gain a toy down here below if I wanted. Don't need to. Although I could have done, yeah, either way. I think you had to do that I first because you first. couldn't fully resolve you that. You all can follow if you'd like to play a squirt gun, though. You know what? I think that was as good a time as any. Or you, Mike, you get to choose first. Sadly, no squirt guns are in my hand. So okay. I'm going to play my wild as a squirt gun. Yep. Which will allow me to follow along. So you get to recruit a card, gain a toy. Yes. So I will gain a toy, and I'm going to recruit a card. Um... Yeah, I'll take Einstein down there. Go okay. for a different, different method this time. And then I add my hand, I add Thunder up top here, and I'm gonna draw back up five cards. Miss you? All right. I feel good about this so far. That was a pretty rock star start. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna like Penny. Given how poorly I've played the last two games, <laughs> I mean lost by lost by percentages. <laughs> so Penny lets me take and put 
uh, any either pizza or toys and puts them in my backpack. Well, your move a resource from your stuff, stuff to, to your, your pack. backpack. Yes. Right. Yep. And I played with another one, so that's two, which is the maximum I can but put in my backpack. You can only have a plus one. Oh yeah, because you're at level zero. zero. Oh, that's right. Oh shoot, I think it started at one. It's only one, so you couldn't play that second card. That is uh, yeah okay. Well, all right, we'll just play that one then. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Thank you. Every once for in a while, keeping me honest, right? Right. <laughs> so that's so that's good. Yeah. Anybody want to follow? I am not following. I am gonna follow. Okay. Playing Bitsy. Ooh. Adding one down there. Private action is I get a victory point for mm -hmm. times my backpack. So that's one victory point. Yes, sir. And then this hand gets available. Oh, I get to recruit first. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to take Thunder. Mm. Okay. I knew I shouldn't go tell him to go skateboard out back. <laughs> All right, so we clear the yard. I'm going to be honest. At the first part. He always has Cheetos on his fingers. Oh, though. is that right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see that last Not a board gamer. No. But the problem is he is. Really loves board games, also loves Cheetos. It's a real problem. That's bad. That's it's bad a bad combo. combination. I like this. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've become good friends with Ghost. Oh, jeez. Because he doesn't let anybody take a public action. He's cool. Mm-hmm. But I will choose crowns, and so I gain two resources times crowns. So I will take two pizzas, please. There you are. It's kind of greedy of me. Mm-hmm. And then Zip never leaves my side, and Bug is hanging out in my yard. Nice. And I will end my turn by drawing that back up to five. All right. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to play Crash, which means I can trash a card for every uh, Squirkin that I have. Only going to do one. So you can use your discard pile also. Oh, it's That's from both. That's a lot more that is true. diverse than me. Doing two. Yeah. <laughs> Doing two. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> And I think... You were going to have a lean, mean squirt gun deck there, I think. That's what I think. <laughs> lean in towards. I think I'm getting rid of... Let's get rid of Bitsy. Let's get rid of Tiny. Out of here. You're such a terrible friend. I am a bad friend. I you am. just kicked them out. I did. You know, kicked them out of the park. They just went the home crying. It's true. It is true. Uh, I gained two Reese's down here at the bottom, and you all can can totally follow if you would like. If I had a discard pile, yeah. I probably would have followed, but I just reshuffled, so it's not yeah. not good timing for me right yeah. now. Oh, I'm I'm dumb. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, okay. You want to take back your? <laughs> huh? I would say that wasn't a wise thing to put into uh, the yard, but I right. put my double skateboard in first round, so. And I took that. <laughs> and I took that. All right, yeah. I got to I got to select one thing though. Yeah, recruit away. I really would like something that lets me start adding. I think Worm's gonna be that. Thing. All right. You didn't seem upset. What's wrong with Worm? I guess he you did. His not name seem, is Worm. You did not seem longer. offended by this. Yeah, yeah. Get along very well. You've been I've taking known. all my people's anyways. <laughs> all my friends. I've known seven or eight good people that were yeah. named Worm. I'm a little offended that that uh, that name bugged you so much. Right. We're gonna play this Tink. What is it with you and glue? <sighs> He's doing that last turn too, <laughs> wasn't he? Well, I started out thinking it was a whiskey <laughs> bottle, so that's okay. I have you a problem. From, I think you've been huffing glue Kentucky. in your. You've been I have huffing a problem. Glue in the fort, right? Right. <laughs> that gives me uh, three toys. You all wish to follow? I... I'd like to consider it. I'm gonna follow. I'd like to think With about my it. Wild card. Yeah, Doodles is gonna follow, right here, and I'll take a. I'll take a toy. I'm gonna sling a toy my way too. I'll do it. I'll and do then that. I'm gonna convert this one. As my private a into a into a pizza. A solid toy. A good toy. And then these get discarded. Okay. And then to I get like to the recruit. You know what? I think I just yes, it has to be uh it has to go. 
Yes. Noodles. What? What? What are you talking the about? The Noodle Twins needs to come over to this side of the park. But then you have you can have Thunder back Ooh. if you want. Oh, that Cheetos turned me oh, off. Sparky, Sparky doesn't your, get that. Oh, that's right. Jeez, he's a loyal friend. That's right. All right. Those Cheetos wouldn't didn't go for you. They didn't go for you. He me. showed up with that bucket, and you're like, no, uh. no, sir. Now here's the problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna clue you all into an issue that I'm already running into. I got a lot of squirt guns. I got nothing that like victory points maximized by <laughs> squirt gun gun <laughs> placement. You know? It's an issue. Could get a made up rule that does that. So we're gonna go ahead and send out Captain My Captain here, which is gonna let me build my fort, the first uh, stage of the fort. So I, okay. Perfect. Can I follow with the Noodle Twins? Yeah, those absolutely. Two? Yeah, okay. you can overpay it, yeah. Okay. So we're all paying two resources, because these icons show. So I just wanted to be clear. So but before, I want to make sure I copy somebody's backpack before they use their stuff. Can I choose to do that first? Yeah, go ahead. OK, because I just want to get one of your alls. Pull it in. And I'm paying two. You're paying two. Pay my two. You're yeah. paying two. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna pay two twice since I've got So it. then is it internal is it now that copying of the backpack goes to your stuff, not to your backpack. Not to your backpack. Oh correct. So I would have to do it the other way. I'd have to build the fort first and then so, Yep. Yeah. So we're still good, but your and, placement's right. And I think turn order is I'm the one doing it first. Wouldn't I choose because yep. we're all building stage we're one all of the four, going up. And then it, which unlocks us end game scoring condition. Yeah, and these are going to be these are going to be uh, what are they? Secret made rules, up made rules. rules, made up rules, made up rules. So these thing. are these are modifiers that give you a bonus. Some of them could be things like uh, for every fort plus symbol you have, or, or some icons that you have, you get extra victory points. Uh, I know I had one that was if I stay at a certain fort level, I get bonus victory points. Okay, things like that. Mine previously was number of crowns I that I had. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna go to the discard pile. Those go to the yard. Miss you. One, two, three, four. Three shuffle. And after Down you, to me? Yep, yeah, it's on to you. Hmm. I'm actually in a bad spot right now. <laughs> exactly where we want you to be. Because I don't want to get rid of. I don't want to. I don't want some of these cards to come to the market. <laughs> So I just double checked the rules, uh, and it turns out, because let me show people what I have in my hand, because they're gonna see it go to the market anyway. Parentheses have to be fully completed. So the first time I did this amazing series of actions where I recruited three cards and gained two toys, could only have actually done that uh, twice. Because I would have gained two toys, recruited two times, I did a third one beyond what I should have. I'm kind of paying the price for that now. Because this time, I can only do it once. Correct. Uh, or I could actually do it twice. Do it twice. I could do it twice, but the scrappers are entering, the are entering my yard. They are. Which is the most painful thing that could have happened to me. I have now lost both of my. Can me and Mike switch seats? <laughs> <laughs> I have lost no. both of my duel. So uh, I am, I am disappointed. Not only that I messed up at least one rule, but uh, but now I'm. But now I feel like I'm suffering for it. <laughs> I think you are. So, paying your penance. <laughs> so I'm gaining two coins. I'm going to recruit two cards. And I feel like I don't even really want a bunch of the cards out here. I just didn't want to lose these. Yeah. Well, like, now, so and now I'm you losing. played them. I would like to follow that action. You can. Yes. I will follow that action with that wild. But i got to complete but my recruit first. Yes, you do. First. Yep, go ahead. And the park refills as you pull them, right? So they'll be available for my... Yeah, they will. Let's see. I'm gonna pull. Pull this one. That isn't something down. because it fulfills. Ooh. Fulfills. Ooh. I'm gonna pull Captain. He's a good, that's a good one. Card. So I did my double recruit. I'm not able to do the bottom part of that card, but that's okay. All right. Scrappers are entering my pile now. I still have a normal recruit. Now technically the scrappers. Yeah, so go ahead and do your. Well, now technically the. Scrappers don't they're enter. They're not there yet. They're not there yet. They're still like, in your hand. Well, yeah, yeah. You so wouldn't be able to take, take it. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to take it. Yes. I'm gonna take. Uh, which one do you want? <laughs> which one? Which one do you want? I think I'm gonna take warp. I didn't like warp, but I like warp. And I gained the toy. Oof. For that. Okay. Now that I'm, I'm losing. I feel like I'm. I feel like I was feeling good for a moment. <laughs> And now I feel like things are falling apart for me. So I got my normal recruit action. You're yes. not following, are you? I'm not following. Okay. No. 
I'm gonna take dot. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> yeah. And it is. All right, it's on to you. Okay, now this. Hmm. All right. Well, these go away. Go back to my discard. No one wanted them. I'll take them back. It didn't work. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I. I'm gonna play Sparky, my one of my best friends. Ooh. I see something that might be coming your way though. And I will pay these resources. Uh huh. To go up. Oh. Oh, I need to redraw. You do. So I can follow you to the moon and back. Dude. I'm absolutely following you. I am getting left behind. <laughs> and I think the perk that I'm going to pick up for getting to the second level of my fort is this extra large backpack. Mmm. Ooh, nice. And I get a perk as well. So let's see here. I have bribe on your turn when you use. Tree symbol, you may add cards to your lookout from the park. Mm, Interesting. No. Copycat, when you follow, when following, you may discard up to two cards. Yeah. We're doing that. That's a nice cycle. We're doing that. Okay. And I didn't get to follow. You got, a, you got your recruit <laughs> action. I'm gonna, oh, let's look at this. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I am going to take the scrappers, Interesting. just to deny Jesse that in his hand. However, Icky and Sticky get back up out there. Icky yeah. and Sticky's on the market. Yeah. Woo -woo. So I'm gonna clear the yard. They're like heading down to the local uh, <laughs> Dollar Tree. You're able to like sweep in and be like, "Hey, Icky Sticky, how you doing?" Oh man. You got some nerds. Yeah. <laughs> I like Ghost because he's a little creepy. A little creepy. <laughs> Just a little bit. And he doesn't play with the other kids. Yeah. No, not at he all. He has no top action. I think now's the time to bring Zip out and build Ooh. my fort. Ooh. Can I do it? Since you I are, cannot. You all are resource deprived, so this is my oh, chance right. to That's catch like up. Excellent time. Excellent time. So at this point, it cost me three uh, pizza and a toy, and then one of my choice. So we'll throw another toy out. Mm. So I will jump in, and I like the way you were describing that bribe. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give that a go. So Zippy is out, and a lot of stuff is in the yard. I don't Ooh. feel good about that. I feel bad, like I'm a bad friend. Who are you recruiting? Oh, thank you. Um. Whoa, you like ghosts. I do like the ghosts. Hmm. You've had good history with him. He brought you to victory last time. So, Okay, on to me. I believe... I don't really want to play this, but I think it's necessary at the moment. I'm playing Worm. Uh, no, I'm not playing Worm. No, I am playing Worm. I want to add a card to my tree fort. I think that makes sense. So I'm playing my bottom action here. The top action doesn't even matter because I don't got anything I look at at right. the moment. Bottom action though, I'm going to add some rocket boots to uh, nice. to my fort. They're nice. hanging out up there. I have nothing to follow. Marketplace is going to be Babyface and Punky. What are you recruiting? I, mm. I think I've got to turn around is fair play. Yeah. It is. I it felt is. like I needed to leave Vicky and Sticky for you to <laughs> oh, get that a little you're doing? redemption. Is that right? I appreciate it. <laughs> hey. If you're going to build your fort, you need some resources. So I'm going to play Tink again. Okay. For two glue. And I'm going to convert one of yeah, them. Yeah, I'm into that. And guess what? Because of my card modifier, I get to play I get to play extra. Oh, I don't need extra. I'm just playing Vicky and Sticky. So just two toys. Right on top of your deck. Yeah, well, I'm good at it. You're good. Yeah. Slide of hand. I'm a good shuffle. <laughs> I don't know. This, <laughs> what can I say? The noodle toy. Oh my gosh. Crash. Man. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> that oh. was a painful hand. It was. There wasn't much you could do with just doubles and All right, so nothing to match up with. the them. yard up. I am feeling pretty good about giving those to you, honestly. <laughs> you might have them back. <laughs> I'm not too upset about this. You might come back and visit. I didn't you. need them for. I didn't need them that much, and you're kind of disregarding them. If we're going to be honest, you so. sent them out for some uh, 
Some espionage is what it was. Wow. <laughs> Saboteurs. Can I say? All right. I'm going to go... So I'm going to use this as a while, but count it as a shovel, mm -hmm. so that I will get two slices of pizza. Would you all like to follow with shovels? Mm, no. I will follow. I'll do the personal scoring, which is victory points times my four. I'm currently at four level two. Mm -hmm. so I get two points. On the board! Impressive. I'm not. <laughs> who are you recruiting? I am going to... Oh, who am I recruiting? That is a good question. Uh, the Noodle Twins. So those were played. This is my yard, except for Zip doesn't hang out in the yard. One, two... Okay. Crash is being played. Top action. I get to trash a card for every top two that I have. Uh, and bottom action, I gain two resources. You play that card every time I don't have a discard pile. Two resources. <laughs> Let's see what... I gotta be honest. I almost, at this point, have too many of these on my deck. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna trash two of them. You follow the mic. I don't think it's advantageous for me to follow. These are popping into here. These are popping up here. You're coming mm. over to visit. I'm, I'm being helpful. You could have partially fulfilled the bottom action on that card. I did fulfill it. Okay, I didn't, I took, I didn't see you grabbing yeah. resources, sorry. I took both of those both of those pies. Gotcha. Right. Discard. Look, don't tell me what to do. I just want you to be able to follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a good neighborly friend. <laughs> Finally, I get things in my hands that I need. This is on the bottom. Look how many cards I got here. On the bottom of my deck <laughs> is like the three cards that I've been I've been looking for. Can you just take some of these now. Maybe you're welcome to them if you like. <laughs> I don't even like Kitty. <laughs> I'm right. kidding, Kitty. I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness. Just All right, crying. we're going to use my wild. So that's, I'm going to take these two and put them into my backpack. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm following. I'm not following. And I'm following with two cards because I can do that. So I get to add. You're such a copycat. I get to add two into my backpack. Solid. That's, that's my maximum back, backpack storage. Yep. And I get three victory points because I have three. Mm -hmm. Items yes, you in do. my backpack. Yes, you do. These get discarded. Sparky does not go up there in the yard. That's my best friend. And old Feel the thunder. Cheeto Fingers is uh, back Look, out there. No one wants him. You got stuck with him. Apparently, Thunder Jeez. came over. He's been spending the night for a few a few days in a row now. Golly. He goes home to get a new bucket, and then he comes back in. He's one of those kids, he's like six, knocks at your door, you look out Ooh. the people, you can't see that no one's there, so you open just to see, like, who the heck just knocked, like, you think someone ran away? And he's just standing there. Mm. Hi, Mike. Mm. Can I come play? No. <laughs> <laughs> Close no. Door. You're out. I want to go this route. Mm, don't go that route. I'm ghost you. Ah, you and those. Man, I just, can't follow. So two right. times crown, or yeah. resources times crown. So I'm gonna gain two. I'm gonna get a couple of toys. You do a good job of those. I just like to play in my own sandbox and not invite people over. Clearly. Oh, I need to recruit. Thank you. You're welcome. I am gonna take doodles. So this is discard a toy, gain victory points times the number of blues. Mm -hmm. No, oh, kitty. the bottom part or the top part? Yeah, the bottom part. Yeah. I'll take Kitty. You weren't treating her right. Mm. Mm. All right. All right. Can I do anything worthwhile at the moment? I don't think so. Four plus. Yay! You're moving up. People following? Oh, yeah. I figured. The Noodle Twins mm. are following. Two's and a one. <laughs> Hello, Noodle Twins. Are you following, Mike? No, I'm not. I, right. I don't have enough resources. So I'm a... And I get to copy someone's resource bucket. I don't have one. I'm copying your resource bucket. I see. Play. Oh, but aren't you maxed out? Oh, it goes they into go, your stuff. They go into my stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I've got to pay 
two, two, and one of my choice. I think I'm gonna go with the toy. So. Some friends for you to potentially take, and this is your Discord pile, Correct. not your marketplace. Yep. And I think, you know, I think Dash needs needs a buddy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Play tank again. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Grab some toys. All right. All right. I'm following. So am I. Following with three because I can do that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Filling up all of my toys. That was actually that was a, a great play for me. Yeah. Thank you. Mark. He's yeah. always looking out for me. <laughs> I gotta be honest. From I'm actually day, gonna convert from all day of them. One, I've been telling people, Mike, solid guy. He'll always look out for he did your bring you gameplay. A gift. It's true. Mm. I'm gonna convert two of them to pizzas though, with my mm, conversion. I like his subtle like. Mm, Thanks guys. I'm still playing. Uh. Thanks guys. <laughs> okay. <hold on. laughs> I'm not. I need to recruit. I'm not in the mood. I was just trying to play a game for myself. Now <laughs> you're giving me credit for for playing for you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Look, I here's the. I'll throw this um, out there. Worm, you if know what? I, I want Worm back. If I you win, taking Worm back. Taking Worm back. If I win, Mike, I'm gonna give you partial credit. All right, <laughs> that works for me. So it's really a victory for both of us. <laughs> so I'm gonna clear the yard. I'm going to play Bug. Mm -hmm. So follow with shovels if you'd like to gain oh, some pizzas per shovel. I'd love to if I had shovels. I'm gonna gain two pizzas from that. And then, you have no idea how. So if I remember, works. we can modify that with a wild. Is that right? We said that right. You can say that you're wild as a shovel and follow. Yes. Yep. But you can only play one card when you follow. Okay. He can play two. That's he's right. A copy that's cat. right. I got the perk. So, worm or no, it's wart. I'm right. But I do want to follow, and I do want the pizza though. All the W's, and now I'm gonna score victory points. I'm on level three of the fort. So mm -hmm. one, two, three. Goes to my discard pile, and Spike is in the yard. You taken? You recruited? Oh. Yeah. Oof. Kind of like your crash, but I like my scout. Okay. Crash pops back in here. I gotta figure out who I want to play from the top now. This is a little bit of an issue, cause. All right. I feel like I gotta do this. I'm playing crash down. Top action. I could discard a card if I wanted. I think I'm going to discard my other crash. I don't think I need two of them. I'm taking two resources, which is going to be two pizzas down there on the bottom. Man. Uh, and I'm not... You know what? Yeah, let's play Let's play a modifier. Let's toss that in there. It. Who do I want to trash? <sighs> Decisions. And you're definitely the bully on the block. I'm... <laughs> I'm not playing that. Decisions, decisions. This is going here. That's going there. Ooh, they're both. Ooh. They're both entering the marketplace, and I'm going to take. Dear, it's time for Spike. Spike needs. Look, needs some his mom called my mom, <laughs> said you were a bad influence. She set up a play date. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I have a feeling he might end up over there in the trash pile. I brought T-Rex models. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I cared about each one of those friends. It's not my fault. Oh, my goodness. That's that... not what I'm hearing from the pile of the lost. Penny lets me put resources for my stuff into my backpack. My glue. I'm going to put these here. I can do that because uh, I have my extra large backpack. I'm following. I'm following. I'm following. I'm following twice. Ooh. Oh wait, I don't I don't need to follow twice cuz I'm at what 3, so I can only add one anyway. Mm -hmm. Following once. Yeah, I'm following once. Okay? And I get 5 victory points for my private. Mm -hmm. For your backpack, for my backpack. I don't believe it. And then old Thunder's back out there in the yard. Oh, he is. <laughs> Cheeto dust you can have, buddy. I am not in on that. Oh, you All know right. what else? I, I forgot What's the What's he even do? I did oh, forget he, adds, the he adds to a backpack and he gets a pizza. Not bad. 
I've seen better. Um, I'm gonna recruit this captain. Not cool. I put babyface out there thinking it might distract y'all from recruiting the captain. I gotta be honest, it was, that was a strategy. I didn't, almost did. I didn't think I didn't think the captain was gonna make it the whole way around the, the table. <sighs> oh, really? Yeah. I'm gonna follow that. <laughs> Good. Do nothing. I will get my two toys. Hmm. Call it a day. Zip never leaves my side. Zippity Bug is in the yard. Zippity day. Okay, on to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Down we go. Dot is going up top. Welcome to follow if you uh, if you can. I'm doing fort minus a resource, so I'm paying two and then three. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. You're fine. We're moving up to level four now. Level five ends game. Yes, it does. You following? I was waiting to see what Mike was. I doing. follow. Okay. And I'll pay two here, Absolutely. two here. And one pizza there, and I go up to I am also three. following. Figured you were. So I've got three and three when I pull the pizza out of the backpack. Yep. And that'll get me up to there as well. Fill the market. Recruit. Yep. Who do I want to... Who do I want to pull into this party? Oh... Hated leaving that card out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on to you, Mike. All right, Thunder, back into the discard. Oh, look at that hand. What was look it again? That, look at that hand. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play Wart, which gives me a pizza. Not there. Yeah, I'll take a pizza. I'll take a pizza. I'm alright with a pizza. It's time. And then I get a victory point per shovel, so that's two victory points. Certainly is. And then this card gets trashed. All right, what are you talking about? Me being rude to friends, right? <laughs> well, right. They, didn't dogs, they didn't help me win. Those last dogs are going crazy in the background, which is apparently just a standard of my current filming studio. So <laughs> we've got three great Pyrenees downstairs. Uh, they're both adorable and loud. So, you know. I feel like it's thematic to the game, though. Oh, it totally. Dogs in the backyard? Yeah. I'm going to take this dash. Or don't. All right, he is. And yeah. put that dash out there. Oh, <laughs> double, da double dash. It's a good way to guarantee you still got one in your deck. Double down. All right, so we need to do some stuff and things here. No yard to clear, so we're going to go right into the planet card. How do I win? You know what? I'm going to play this card, which is going to let you all build your fort if you'd like. <sighs> Only if we can follow. Only if we can follow. Would you like to follow? Anyway? I could follow, but I also don't have resources to build set for it. <laughs> so I what? can follow. I can follow. I don't have what I need to follow. So you can't follow. Mm -hmm. And I am only going to use the bottom action, and I'm going to copy this nifty backpack you've got full of goodies. I'm so disappointed that I could not use that build for action because I would have ended the game right there. Oh. I kind of noticed that you hopefully didn't. Here's have the it. problem: I still have zero victory points. Me ending the game may, in fact, not yeah. be. Oh, that's a lot of points, though. That is a lot of points. That is a lot of points. I don't know if you. I'm curious to see if you could catch that. What's All my right. secret score? Since this, this just seems like we've been discarding the doubles the whole game. They're hard to use sometimes. Yeah. Though. Like they're really powerful to have on hand. But they're not always convenient. Well, in classic deck builder fashion, if you don't have something to pair them with, yeah. that's what happened to me when both of them went out onto the board. Yeah. Okay. Discarded down. All right. Now the dogs are showing up way more than I'd prefer them to, if I'm going to be honest. So much dog. All right. I'm playing Doodles and Icky and Sticky. It's going to gain me three of uh, these up here, and victory points based on backpack, so I'm finally on the board with four total victory points. Nice. Uh, recruiting action. Did you, was that a glue thing you did there? I would like to follow. It you. is. You can follow if you'd like. And I get one oh, that was a toy. Glue? Yep. What was it? Glue. glue. Toys toy. per... Gain a toy. Toys per glue. 
Uh, Take a dash. I will do toys per glue as well. Okay. I'll follow. There we are. There's my market. I already did. Yep. I took his dash. Oh, you took his dash. Oh, you oh, swap dashes. Did. Swap dashes. Now let's see if I can get that dash into my hand. Uh, spoiler alert. Nope. <laughs> For those of you sitting on the edge of your seats. Ooh. All right. We're nope. going to do... We're going to play dash. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we get pizza for skateboard, so that's two pizzas. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna copy with a wild. I would personally like a pizza. As much as I would love to follow, I'm not going to. Okay. That also gives me victory points backpack, so I get three more victory points. Mm-hmm. And then I get to recruit. <laughs> I'm gonna take baby fish. <sighs> and then we get a penny and a captain out there. Ooh. Which is just, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I think I'm ready to go here. Boom. So we're gonna do this action, which is a book. That's if you'd a like. solid. Book if you'd like to follow. Nope. Um, you gain a resource of your choice. I'm gonna grab a slice of pizza. Please give me a book. Are you kidding me? And then I get a victory point per book, so I get three victory points, and then Einstein gets trashed. One, two, Bad. three. Man, I needed to be able to follow All right. action. Let's see if I can... Tiny's in the yard. See if I can clutch this. Clutch Pulling it. down. Dot's going in. You can copy Fort if you're able oh. to. Uh, I'm doing Fort minus one resource, so I'm paying three blue, four blue, and two... And two pizzas, because I'm minusing one pizza value there. That is going to move me up to five. I get the macaroni sculpture. And, because you were the first player. That ends the game. I, but we still get a chance to follow. I trigger any of you. You can, can follow. follow. You can absolutely follow. Are you four. following? I can't follow. I don't, once again, do not have resources to do the level blue. Four. Well, that's a good thing I got that wild card. You've got it. Nice. You've got it. And so it takes... Three, It'll three, take and all, your all your resources. That takes everything, but that also bumps me up into the final stage of the board. Damn. I think that might be enough to help me clutch it. Let's see. I'm really curious where, because I feel in-game scoring is gonna. Come. I yeah. feel pretty good, but I'm not. I'm not sure. All right. I didn't see. score a lot off endgame. So we start victory point track. Then we go to our score down here. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding 23 to four, so 27. Mm-hmm. I have nine. 9 to 14, so 23. 23 to 8, so 31. 31. That's a bad sign. I gain 4 because That's of my macaroni. You. Yeah, you got it. Mm. I think you're going to beat me. End game's game. the question. You're going to beat me. What is yours? You kept getting the cards I wanted. The end of the game, score 1, one per plus action. Two. I only get 2 more points. I score 1 per pizza. I only get 2 more points as well. Oh, what's the tie tiebreaker? Uh, hey, what about me, guys? Oh yeah, what do you do? Yeah, what do you get, Mike? Sorry. Uh, I get one <laughs> one point per resource in my backpack, so I get three. Oh, rock solid. Good job, Mike. All right, so let's see. End game tie beats... Interesting. What? Do we share on the tie? Is that where we go? End of game. Most victory points is the winner. If there is a tie, the tied player with the highest fort level wins. If still tied, share the victory. Not acceptable. Oh my goodness. Not acceptable. Share the How victory. should we determine this? <laughs> Who has who has the best uh, <laughs> who has the best group of friends? Oh, he's grasping his straws now. Yeah, I'm laying out my friends here, and I'm going to debate with you which which group of friends is the most solid. <laughs> I've got Bug. You know what? Sticky. I think it's if you have uh, Cheeto hands, you win. You did keep Cheeto hands. He was the most. I don't iconic. think I did. He was. Easily, oh no, there's Thunder right there. Easily Jeez. the most iconic friend. You got the biggest friend group though, but I got Icky and Sticky and Scrapper. Oh, I got Noodle Twins. And two ghosts. Did you keep your best friends? Yes, I did. No, you have to keep your best friends. No, you could you could trash them. You're stuck with your best friends. You can trash your best friends. I feel like I Well, oh, you can trash your best friends? Yes. I don't have any best friends. When you left. choose to trash your cards, you, you can trash your best then friends. Then you lose. You lose. You lose. You lose. <laughs> yeah, I think they need to add that in there. Yes. If you end if the game. You, if you if you, if it is a tie the whole way across the board, whoever no longer has their best friends left. 
Yeah. I was tight with Blades and Zap the whole game. <laughs> what a shame. What a shame. Well wow. played. Well Either played. way, uh, that is going to be Fort. Uh, what do you all think? You two are... I mean, I'm doing a full review. Um, yeah. I am also, though, a massive fanboy of leader games, so I am primed to like this. Just... You know, I'm, there's some bias there. Sure. Uh, what's your all sense? This is the first day you've actually sat down and played this. What, what are your honest thoughts? It, it's it's really good. I, I said earlier that deck building games are not necessarily my forte. Sure. But this does a lot more than just a simple deck builder. It's more than that. You do have to, I said, manage your hand. You have to manage your resources. Sometimes you may not even want to follow to keep the cards in your hand to sure. use for multipliers. So. There's much more than the deck building, which is probably my least favorite mechanic, but <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I, I might have to get this game. Oh, it's it's solid, solid game. Um, I like how different the two games were that we just played before going it's on true. camera and now. Like the last game that we played before going on, our lookouts were A lot of people were lookouts, Oh, that's yeah. right. So yeah. we were multiplying like crazy. And we triggered Endgame off of... I built the final stage of the four. Is that how you that's triggered That's how we Endgame? triggered it. Okay, because I you were, gonna, we were close. You were going to trigger it. I was going to trigger it on the we number. Were, we were inch, inching on victory points. The game, that last game, the previous game, did take a lot longer. We were, sure. for whatever reason, the it deck was, the, was, was low. Getting game. familiar with yeah, it. Yeah, the deck was lower too, so we, we played a lot. But I just felt like this was a lot different. Like, I had nothing in my lookout. Mike, you've got nothing in your lookout. Yeah. I think you had the Rocket Bros, and that was it. Mm. Yeah. And then, yeah, so, yeah. that multiplier, I mean, I didn't have hardly any cards that did multiplier, except for Ghost, so I was just cycling the Ghost. Mm -hmm. um, but I like how it was so different, so quickly. Um, I definitely like how there's a lot more going on than your typical deck builder. Solid game. I, I definitely think I'll be adding it to my shelf. Do you all have any uh, direct concerns or anything about it for people like to, so people can determine if this is going to be the right game for them in their gaming group? Don't let the art fool you. It is not a simple game. Like it has this neighborhood yeah. toy kid look. Feel. Isn't that leader's sort of staple? It is. It is. It's it is. like it the is. most adorable S hardcore games. So they followed suit here, but this is sure. this is deeper than your than it looks. Yeah, the you know like a lot of games that are trying to be language uh, independent. Sure. Uh, the iconography takes a little bit to get used to, but we said the the player aid is really really good. Uh, the examples in the book are really really good to tell you how to play. Probably answer all the questions of just ambiguity with driving cards with icons. Um, but once you played it a couple times, it. It sticks with you. I, I think there's definitely some... That's my biggest thing. My biggest thing across the board is that people need to be aware that iconography and the mathematics of how your cards chain together, because it isn't a simple game, and they're trying to say a lot through a language-independent system, right. which is admirable. Yes. Like I understand and I, I, I totally appreciate that approach. Mm -hmm. However, it does mean that, that learning this does, does take a little bit of time and work. Yeah. Um, and so there are some icons, like we understood like hand grab into your into your stuff times however, like we got right. that pretty quickly. But I, will, I am always consistently checking the ones that are underutilized, like uh, the frowny face with your backpack in yeah. your hand got, yeah. or the frowny face with a, a card on either side. Like if you're only using it once or twice per game, you need, you're gonna have right. to have this on hand. I don't know that I think it would probably be five to six games deep that I'm I'm fully off of the rule book, yeah. yeah. um, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. And one other thing would be, with most leader games, there's this interesting balance between the game telling you exactly what you're supposed to do, but it being complicated enough that you feel like you should infer things. And even in this game, we had a situation where we rules checked and, and I corrected because yeah. I made a mistake. Correct. Because I... I think I was inferring from the text more than I should have. I should have just went straight from it is saying this than this. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't play with it, don't read into it. And that can cause a little bit of, of confusion and a little bit of uh it takes some time to make sure you're playing it right. Definitely. Um I like this one. For a for a small box, for a small box little deck builder, and I like I really like deck building mechanics. So I like the hand management here. I like that the marketplace is open-ended. Um, I think it adds a nice little puzzle between who you're taking from, how you're impacting each other's yes. play. Um, most deck builders I find I don't worry about or watch other players as much mm -hmm. um, because I'm more concerned about my hand, my deck, and what I'm doing. Whereas yeah. this, I'm watching each of your turns sure. pretty consistently because yeah. it actually matters. 
it has a it has it is a really nice player in sort of engagement system where this top action is always important to me. Yeah. So for this thirty to forty minutes that we just played, there wasn't there wasn't a moment where I wasn't all, like actively engaged in right. the game and Correct. interested. The, in what yeah, was yeah. there's no downtime. You're you're always yeah. looking at the the yards. You're always looking to follow or not follow, like Mike right. said earlier. Yeah, you have to watch your hand following. And then, you know, sometimes you don't have a choice to really, if you're going to play something, you have to play this and you're going to put yep. good cards into your yard for your for your opponents to grab, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Yep. Sometimes you just have to do it. And then we've seen that sometimes they come back to you, you know, your friends. <laughs> sometimes you can't get rid of them like old Thunder. Yeah. One one thing that another another friend of mine brought up when I was doing some playtesting of this, preparing for the review that we're doing. So this is, we're filming this before I've done the full review. Um, so this is all added information for me. One friend was mentioning wanting to figure out the balance to see how much uh, luck versus strategy there is. Did you all feel like you were able to control and build into your deck, or did you feel like us impacting your deck was was kind of keeping you from making like from building a strategy? I tell you, that's probably one of the things about deck builders that I don't enjoy, which is why they kind of sink lower to me. Is that sometimes the agency of a, an excellent card will come out in the market. That's perfect for you, perfect for you. Better than when your opponent takes it and you're just like, what do you do? And then nothing is even close. Sure. I think with the cards going into the yard, there's a little more agency of grabbing those cards because then they were important to your opponent, maybe they're important to you, or maybe you're just hate drafting them. And I, and I like that. I like that. That's... I like that chance of redemption. Like you're talking about missing out on that card, but it's very well possible later on it's going to come around and it's going to well, be in the might, yard and you'll come around. It grab might be it. good for you this turn, and yeah. then a turn from now it might be better for yeah. me. So it yeah, could no. still cycle yeah. through. You keep calling it a little box game, but there is a lot. <laughs> I, a lot of box. Game. Look. I mean, it physically is little. It's a small box. <laughs> it's a small box, affordable little game that I think I think fits into the leader like the leader games line up really well. It yeah. feels like a leader game. It feels appropriate to... And they're known for their their crazy asymmetric, like, they, they're super heavy games. So this is a this is a little game when it comes to their lineup. Yeah. Uh, it is. And I, I think it fits perfectly into what they've done. Yeah, it, so. yeah. The, I, I was definitely had misconceptions about the name versus, and then, the, you know, the art. Sure. Just like Root kind of kind of fools you this kind of fools you too and, and, and how deep you thought maybe it was going to be a little bit more friendly you saw deck builder you saw the artwork and you were yeah like, yeah i was immediately kind of like I, I, i'm open open-minded about games and and i like it and to say something that i think my other gaming friends would like this too is cool. is probably going to pick this up cool either way Thank you for watching. Guys, thank you for joining. I'm super excited to have Thanks you here for the yeah. first time. Yeah. Uh, I, I certainly hope they'll come back um, because, I look, as this game clearly indicated, I just need more friends. If you wouldn't trash them so often. I, look, I'm, all right. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Whatever the case, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that uh, subscribe button down below. Leave a comment letting us know your thoughts on Fort. Or have you already pre-ordered it? Are you picking it up? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to see when it comes to kind of us playing or if you have any questions about the game and our experience as a whole um, Let me know. I'd be happy to kind of engage with the conversation with you and, and answer them the best I can Whatever you do though, remember to do the important thing get out and play some games and we'll see you next time